15 Best Interior Accessories for 2010 to 2024 Toyota for Runner Models. Number one. For the fifth gen, uh, the Forerunner. It's super simple. It's just two pieces. Doesn't require any kind of tools or what or anything else. Um, so, some first thing is you're going to empty your glove compartment, obviously. Something to note is this would be a good time to clean or, or replace your cabin air filter um, at this time because once you put the organizer in there, you'll have to uh, remove the organizer or do so. So, you can do that then. Um, but the first piece you're going to put in is this. Um, this is the first of two pieces. Um, you'll notice there's a uh, a uh, diagonal piece here that's going to go on the bottom so it's going to orient like this um, first thing in here you'll see there's a upright tab on the bottom and then there's a ledge here on the inside and that's what this is going to go against so we're going to get this in there we're going to put it as far left as we can it's going to stop at that tab and there and that ledge then the second piece we're going to take is the horizontal tray and that uh, the right side is going to rest on this little ledge here so that's pretty self-explanatory and it's just going to go into the cross slot just like that you're gonna push it all the way in till it stops and that is it and then it'll hold itself in from there and you are done number two before assembling your new base layer organizer please remove the Toyota factory divider from the front of your forerunner center console lift it straight up no tools are required Assemble the organizer outside of your Forerunner center console. Slide together the three pieces in the kit. The dividers are an exact fit to the center console walls, preventing any movement once installed. Lower the assembled organizer into the console. Push the organizer down to contact the bottom of the console. Make sure to position the short dividers inside the vertical ribs in the console as shown. Push each piece to the bottom of the console to straighten. This high quality American made product by Baselayer will help you stay organized for years to come. Number three. All right guys, this is the CarQ uh, wireless charger and storage for the Toyota 4Runner. Uh, that is the wireless charging pad. You can stick your phone or other uh, wireless charging devices. In my case, I have the AirPods and AirPods Pro. Um, it's pretty nice. There's a quick charge 3.0 USB uh, that comes with this that you just plug into the bottom uh, underneath the tray. And then there's also another USB port up here. That way you can charge your phone if you have it on a mount like I do. Um, all in all, this is pretty awesome. It has, you know, storage for coins and then storage for other knickknacks. Um, but it makes life a lot easier by being able to organize stuff. And like I said, in my case, uh, I can charge my AirPods without having to plug them in and use up other uh, USB ports. So all in all, very happy with this purchase and can't wait to use it uh, for extended periods of time. Number four.
number seven. Introducing the custom windshield shade. The shade's design makes it foldable and portable. The shade is two-sided, and one side made with high-quality fabric, the other side made with premium 210T reflective polyester. The cover is not only easy to use, but it is custom made to fit into your car perfectly, right down to the corners. This cover will reduce heat buildup for up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit and will block 99% of damaging UV rays. Once you're done, you can fold it back up and slide it back into the cover bag. So keep your car cool conveniently and order a custom cover now. Number 12.
number 15. Hi everyone, today I will be showing you how to install the new off-rom clamp that will work on all 5th gen 4Runners. This is pretty cool for us because we have designed, again, the design that will work on all of them, including this 2022 5th uh, gen 4Runner. So, the installation is very simple. So, this is a single screw design and this is what it looks like when it's opened up. So, it's going to come with the L key and all you have to do is use the L key to open it up just like that and then we're going to be installing it on this dash right here so for optimal results and for for it to be not wobbly and as stiff as possible you will want to mount it right here so as close to the edge as possible not here here <laughs> so let's do this together I have opened up the mount and I will just go ahead and prop it up here. Um, I actually like that it's sitting right above this air vent knob. That's how I, um, that's how I measure it for myself. And then we will use the L key to start tightening it. Now there's no tricks to this. All you have to do is just start tightening the, the screw. Okay, this is pretty tight. This baby is not going anywhere. Thank you, engineers. <laughs> so as you can see, they're very stable and they are in the perfect position for you to uh, put the phone, phone mount in. So let's go ahead and mount the arm. You can use this arm to position it at whatever angle you think is best for your daily drive. We will do it here. Put the off-room phone mount in. And I want to position it like this because I'm the passenger at the moment okay nice and tight and then I will go ahead and put my phone in thank you for watching please support our channel by buying these accessories through our affiliate links in the description see you on the next video